We are 15 hours away from polls opening for Election Day. In-person advance voting ended at noon today. We caught up with Shawnee County's Elections Commissioner Andrew Howell for some Election Day reminders, including what to do if you still have one of those advance ballots that was mailed to you. Your election workers are trained. They know to get it in the sealed bag. So just find a polling place and get it dropped off. They will get it to us after 7, after polls close. So that's, you, that's the easy answer. But you have to have it in by 7 p.m. Correct. At this point, if you haven't mailed it, don't if drop you, it in the mail. If you haven't mailed it, you can. But I would say use the drop box at the election office. We are open till 7 o'clock. Uh, even election day, we're going to be open till 7 o'clock. There will be a drop box in the office at 3420 Southwest Van Buren. So drop it there, or you can certainly find a, uh, a polling place on election day, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. But you're correct, 7 p.m. be the last chance to, to get it to us in any of those forms. How was advanced voting running? Was it above average, below average, about on par with other presidential elections? And what does that tell you about the interest? Uh, definitely very high interest because we were over 25 percent uh, as of Friday. Uh, we're going to we're going to be in excess of 25 percent. So so I know there's very high interest because our early voting numbers we broke the record starting uh, you know last Wednesday. We were meeting and starting to exceed those numbers. So definitely high interest. We aren't going to know exactly how much interest I guess until we see election day, how many people actually end up coming out election day, but certainly lots of interest early. Because right, it could be that more people just want to vote in advance so that they have the convenience of doing Correct. it on their schedule, but do you have a prediction on turnout for this general election? Um, you know, pretty typically in most presidential elections in Shawnee County, we're somewhere near 75%. I would expect we could see as high as 90,000 voters in Shawnee County in total. That would not surprise me. So, so election day, polls open, 7 a.m., 7 p.m. What do we need to know if we are going to be one of those, uh, like me, I'm an election day traditionalist. What do I need to keep in mind? Almost, you know, typically in these elections, 70 or 75 percent of Shawnee counties will show up election day. Now, we may be down slightly, but just keep in mind, know your polling place. You can find that on our website, uh, Shawnee County Elections. You can click on, we've got it right on the main page, find your polling place. So call us at 251-5900 if you need to. Look on there, find your, find your local polling place. But remember, there's a lot of construction. We can't even keep up with some of the street closures. So know the route to your polling place, probably the single most important thing for election day. Uh, and like I said, call us if you need to. We'll try to be helpful. We don't know every street. We don't know every, uh, every possible route, but it is important that you study that, that you maybe plan your route ahead of time if you know where your polling place is. And if you don't, give us a call. We'll try to help you with it. And if you're outside Sha Shawnee County, myvoteinfo.voteks.org is how you do that. What are some of the other rules we need to know when we're going to the polls in terms of, and these are universal across the mm -hmm. state, in terms of bring your ID. You are going to need to sh show a photo ID. That's required. But then also, you know, what happens if you're in line at 7 and you haven't gotten to the front of the line yet? Sure. What if somebody, when you get there, the poll workers tells you you're in the wrong place or questions something? What, what can you do then? Those sorts of things. So it's important to go to the right place because that's the best way for you to make sure that you get your correct ballot. There's over 249, I believe, different ballots. We've got a couple of ballots that have a school bond question on them. So you really want to get your correct ballot to make sure that you get all your votes in on your particular uh, set of things that you should be voting on. So go to your correct place. Um, that's why I encourage people go to our website or the Secretary of State's website and check out your uh, assigned polling place. But once you get there and you get checked in, it should be a fairly quick and pain-free process. You can use a standard paper ballot. If you have ADA needs, you can use a touchscreen device. Again, it kicks out a paper ballot as well. Encourage people to review it. Make sure your selections are what you intended. Um, but it should be, at least in Shawnee County, we have 87 locations, most of those. You're going to have a little bit of a line at 7. You probably have a little bit of a line between 11.30 and 12.30, and a little bit of a line around 5 o'clock. So if you can pick those off-peak times, you may get through a little quicker. Yeah, so people don't get confused. There are a couple of the Jefferson West School District precincts are in Shawnee County. That's where mm -hmm. you mentioned the bond issue there. Correct. If you're in line at 7, you can vote. Right. As long as you are in line, they can't yeah. tell you to leave and that you can't vote. At 7 p.m., just make sure you're there, uh, you know, between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. And if you get in line at 6.59 and a half, you'll be fine. 
And they let you vote. And just a couple other things that he wanted to make sure that you knew. First of all, if you do have any questions, reach out to your local elections office. If you're there, you think something's not right at your polling place, call your local elections office. And also, if the, someone is questioning your eligibility and says you can't vote, you can request a provisional ballot, and then the canvassers will get it all straightened out for you. Lots to keep in mind before we vote tomorrow. Here